Hello, this is a demonstration of how you can use standard Salesforce process builder and flow automations to perform Salesforce actions based on SMS responses to questions. So what we've done here is created a form template called student contact, um, which can be accessed via a query, uh, query code or query string that you can text in and it will start this flow of questions. Um, and then the following questions will be asked. What's your first name? What's your last name? What's your email address? And then you'll get a response. So this is the flow of text messages that will go through. And once we've completed the flow, we've set up a process builder to evaluate the form, which is the group of messages, um, and see if it met, meets certain criteria. And if it does, then we will go ahead and fire a visual workflow, which will identify the contents of the responses based on the questions and use those responses to run an automation. So the automation that we're gonna show here is how to update um, some fields on a contact or lead record based on the responses to an SMS um, exchange. So we're asking again, first name, last name, and email. And then what's gonna happen here is once we complete this flow, my contact record, which is the phone number associated with the form that's gonna come in here, will be updated with um, with the values that we input for first name, last name, and email. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. Um, so I will begin by just texting in connect to initiate. And if I go over into our forms record, I'll be able to see the new form that's been created. So this is going to capture question text and the responses. So first we're asking, what is your first name? I'm just going to say S. We read fresh over here. We can also see S in the next question. What's your last name? Schultz. And then what is your email address? And just to show that there's a difference here, I'm gonna go ahead and change my email address. Mosley, SMS. So instead of Serena at MobileSMS.com, I'm adding that plus one. I'm going to push that through. If I again refresh over here, you can see all of these that have come through. You can see that this is still active, so we're going to give it a second refresh again. And now you see that the status has been set to complete and that the flow has been completed. Um, and this is important because this way, if you ever need to edit and save again, you're not going to rerun your flow. So you can set that up in your process builder. Okay, so now we're gonna pop back over to our contact. Um, so this is my current contact, Serena Schultz at MobileSMS.com. And now if I go ahead and refresh the page, we see that these changes have been made. So it's now S Schultz and Serena plus one. And if I want to see exactly what's happened, I can look at my feed and see that the SMS guest user has changed these specific items. So now if I wasn't a contact, if I was a lead, um, this would happen in the same way. So the visual force flow is looking to find out if there are any contacts that match the phone number um, based on the phone number that is in this form here. If there aren't any, then it's gonna look for, the, look for a matching lead. Um, and if there aren't any leads, then it will look every minute um, until a lead is created. And Mowgli SMS does automatically create a lead for you if no lead exists that matches that phone number. Um, so the great piece about this is that if you don't have a lead in the system and a new contact form comes in, um, then not only will a new lead be cre created, but it will also then be populated with the name and email address uh, that was included in that form so that you no longer just have an anonymous lead, but an actual lead with a name and an email address and a phone number. So that is just one example of a quick automation that you can do with Mobley SMS, and we look forward to showing you more.